Okay, this morning I went straight to video first, not like yesterday. That was a mistake. Today, I'm going to talk to you uh, about, are your questions sabotaging your success? We're going to hit that right after this on 7 Minutes in the Morning. Hey, it never hurts to mix things up, does it? My name is Tom Rigsby, your host, right here on 7 Minutes in the Morning, where you get your daily dose from me, your coach. And today, well, uh, actually, all this week, we've been talking about <clears throat> language and the role that language plays in our pursuit of success. And so <clears throat> I've talked a lot this week about the negatives, right? What, um, how it can have a negative impact on you, how it can have negative results. Today I want to talk to you. I'll give you a little bit of that, but I want to start getting into the positives. How do we turn that around? And one of the ways that I, I mentioned briefly yesterday was if you want better results, then ask yourself better questions. So today I want to talk a little bit about questions. Before we get into that, just a quick reminder, if you're watching live or on the replay, do what Joe just did. Drop me a note down in the comments. Say hi. Say good morning. Let me know that you're here, that you watch the video, and that this is helpful. That's what keeps me encouraged to keep doing this every morning at 7 o'clock. <coughs> wow, five days a week. Um, at any rate, drop that note in there. And if you know someone who could benefit from participating in our conversations. Drop them a little note in there. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Benny Vidi Vici. Yes. I like that. Good, good words to use, Joe. All right. So, questions. A lot of people don't think about this, but the, the questions, as, as I've said a couple of times during the week, our brain's this wonderful supercomputer that is pre-programmed to answer questions that we ask. So if we just ask the right questions, then we get better results, right? But what a lot of people don't think about are the questions. I started out the week by saying, you know, just subtle differences in the way that you word questions can make a big difference. How can I keep my business from failing versus what can I do to ensure success? Um... Make sure, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, checking my note right there. What can I do to keep my business from say from failing? Versus, how can I? What can I do to ensure my business success? Subtle differences, but it it puts our mind on two different tracks. The first one is a negative focus because you're focused on failing. The the second one is a positive focus because you're focused on success. So here are some clues about the quality of questions that you're asking. They're not 100% because I can turn either one of these, any one of these, around and make it work the other way. But generally speaking, here are some quick guidelines. If you're using the words why, why not, when, if you're using those words in your question, that's probably a negative-focused question. Right? Think about, why won't people buy my stuff? Um, why don't people come into my store? Why don't people sign up for my webinar? Right? Those are all negatively focused questions. You know, when are things going to get better? When will people, when will people buy my stuff? All of those questions kind of put your brain off in this negative attitude. Now, obviously, I can turn both of those around. Right? Why did this person buy? Right? I mean, that's that's a positive use of why. And actually a great one. Why, you know, why do people act the way that they do? When is the best time for me to launch my webinar? See, so you can use it both ways. But culturally, language-wise, we tend to um, start negative sentences with the words why and when. On the flip side of that, how and what. How can I help? How can I create value? How can I make sure my business succeeds? Right? Um, and then the other word is what? What can I do to make sure my business succeeds? I love that question. 
because it is not only is it focused on the positive outcome, but it's focused on action as well, right? What can I do? How is kind of strategic. What is very tactical, all right? So just think about that as you are approaching your day and you begin to think on things. Remember, we, I mentioned this this week too. When I say, oh, I'm thinking about it, what are you really doing in your head? What's going on? How do you, how do you think about a problem? You ask yourself questions. So if you want to improve the quality of your answers, then improve, start by improving the quality of your questions. All right, so as you are thinking on things today, maybe you got some windshield time. That's one of my favorite times to ruminate over questions is uh, while I'm driving somewhere. So much so my wife makes fun of me. She can pass me on the highway, you know, as we're both headed home or something and wave and blow the horn and whatnot. I just now I'm just there, just chugging right along, working on those questions. So whether you're driving, whether you're you know sitting in some quiet time in the coffee shop, what have you, as you're working on those questions, be careful about the questions that you ask. Check yourself and see if you're using negatively focused questions or positively focused questions to put that supercomputer on your shoulder to work. All right, that's it for today. Thanks so much for being here. Today's Thursday. You know what that means for tomorrow, right? Free Coaching Friday. If you've got a question, send me a message here at the Unashamed Nonconformist page on Facebook, or you can send me an email, tom at tomrigsby.com. Either one will get here. I'll look through those and come up with a topic, a question, an un, unmentioned, an untouched uh, aspect of what we've been talking about this week. Thanks for being here. Hey, good morning, Jeremy. Thanks for sliding in there. I'll be back here again tomorrow. With another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning, I will talk to you then. Take care.